Central Bank of Nigeria is independent in terms of its own activities, and I really cannot change or not change their policies. But let me say to you that just take some of the examples. Toothpicks, for example, have been imported into Nigeria. Fertilizer, which we have now cracked with the, with the, with the, with the, with the uh, collaboration we have with Morocco, we are now able to deliver fertilizer at half the cost. So you have fertilizer now at, at you know, some 6,000, 7,000. At some point, it was about 12, 13,000, even higher. So you can no longer do that. And rice is also another example. We were importing practically all of our rice. As I said, $5 million of rice every single day. Today, we are no longer doing so. We've encouraged local production by preventing a situation where anybody can simply go and buy rice. And, and simply go and you know, open a farm and bring in rice. So if you are going to protect local industry, if you are going to protect local, if you are going to protect local activity, then you need to do something like what, uh, you, you may need to do something, such as what the CBN is doing. Final point on that is that when you have, where you have a situation, such as we have today, these 41 items, it is not a ban on those items. All that the CBN is saying is you can't come to us for foreign exchange. You can go and source your foreign exchange wherever you want, but you can't come to the CBN for foreign exchange for these items where they believe, uh, which they believe can be produced locally. So that really is the point. Thank you very much. Come